located in the Gifford Pinchot National Forest, Mount St. Helens Visitor Center is still closed in July 2021 due to COVID, but you can get your first distant glimpse of the volcano, which is more than 40 miles away. The road to the volcano takes you through stands of pine and fir trees. The volcano grows larger in your windshield as you approach it. Along the way are storyboards outlining the history of the 1980 explosion in the aftermath. Time heals all wounds, of course, and 41 years later, vegetation is returned, including plenty of wildfires in an area which hasn't been snow-free for long. There's plenty to do in the park, however, most facilities are closed, but around every corner nearly, you are treated to remnants of volcanic activity, including scars that have been reclaimed by growth, plus formations of basalt and ash from past eruptions. As you drive ever closer to the volcano, it looms larger in your windshield around every turn. And there are plenty of pullouts for you to take in the scenic wonder. On May 18, 1980, gas-rich magma and superheated groundwater inside the volcano released in a powerful lateral blast. In less than three minutes, 230 square miles of forest lay flattened. Volcanic ash and pumice billowed out of the volcano, reaching a height of 15 miles. Avalanches of superheated gas and pumice called pyroclastic flow swept down the flanks of the volcano. And now, since people are even more destructive than volcanoes, the federal government says, stay out. So like good citizens, we should stay in the car and drive towards the volcano, watching it grow larger as we get closer. God's creation knows how to rebound from disasters. And if those who have an eye will just look around them, they can see the wonder of God's work everywhere. We'll go over there in a moment and check out the viewpoint from there. But... On top of the ridge, there's all, there are all kinds of red flowers, and there's some blue ones out there. Here's a brave little fellow who makes his home right in the tourist area. Brave, that is, until he sees my shadow. Come to the fork in the road, take it. I'll take the right one. Poor choice. We 
got a view of some picnic tables. Neat lake stool trees. We've got a kiosk and some toilets and rubber clothes like everything else. Gas motors on Coldwater Lake. Ooh, we got ball toilets on both sides. No view, no direct view of the volcano from here. Well, we got some boats. There we go. Well, that's not the volcano, but that's uh, that's a cliff. The volcano's off to the right. And after an exciting day in Mount St. Helens, we'll pull in for the night at a high-class rest area.